So I don't know how much I recorded on there, but uh, I just wanted to say, uh, hey, it's Jay Nat. We willing to deal it, riding and striving. Here we go. You know what I mean? I'm just uh, you know, doing my thing like I usually do. I just wanted to start recording a little bit of my um, experience out here on, on the road. So yeah, I just wanted to reach these guys and. It, and give you guys a uh, good energy on this new light on this new day. So hope you guys have a good good day today on um, this Tuesday, March 14th. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here this morning. And um, there's a little bit of snow on the grass or whatever. Nothing crazy. The road's not nothing bad. But uh, yeah, I got to head out, out here to Baltimore. I should have checked my app because on the app, you know what I mean, it tells you, it, you know, it told me that I, I get a bobtail, so I actually didn't have to wake up that early if I'd have caught it this morning. But sometimes I can't sleep past seven, six or seven anyway. I can lay down like at 11. Sometimes, you know, a little later, I'm not getting to sleep till like 12. Here, like seven hours later, but I feel, I feel all right. I'm a little tired. A little bit tired so yeah you guys I just uh just trying to be hopeful for the, for today you know and praying that the most high just protects these guys on this road I'm always pr uh, praying for uh, travel mercies and uh, praying for my family while I'm gone and uh, praying for patience you know what I mean like uh that's part of like driving. Driving, it, it takes it, it takes a lot of patience. You know, a lot of stuff too. Uh, when you first start doing it, you got to figure out on your own. Like, you got to have common sense with things. Cause you know, like case in point, yesterday, um, I was driving. These guys they gassed my truck. It, it was supposedly because they said it was at the shop and they brought it back and they had no gas. I'm like, man, you know first truck got in the truck yesterday it was making all these beeping noises talking about the airbag so I had to find the button to raise my air and um because I was about to turn the truck around I was like what's all this madness all this noise eventually I figured it out but um yeah I'm just uh doing my thing here and uh what I was saying was that they didn't gas my truck and I didn't notice until 40 minutes down the road and I had to turn back around and then I, I hit up the dispatcher at my job and he's kind of like, he's a good guy, but you know, sometimes he's just not on point for me, you know what I mean? And it's kind of crazy because in the way he acted like he didn't want to answer the phone. And then, but then he eventually did. I told him the situation and he eventually told me where I needed to go. So, you know, I, I had to put that in my phone. But uh, I found the place and, you know, then when I got there, I pulled in and I was like, damn, this is kind of tight in here. So I pulled in and then the one side of the uh, CNG gas line wasn't really working. Like I swiped my card, it wasn't regist registering or whatever. So I had to back out with my trailer, back it up, then I had to like find space to go all the way around to come in on the left side. Then they had a big nozzle for the CNG, like you know, the port. So I'm like, man, trying to figure it out here on the left side. Man, it's, it's a whole long story, man. But here, I never used that big port. And it's on the other side, I didn't even know. But when I, you know, I figured that on my own. Like, you see, you know, open, I opened up the other side. I'm like, man, this thing is huge. Like, I never, it wasn't fitting on the small end. So, you know, so a lot of times, you know, it's like, it's not like rocket science, but with a lot of stuff when you're driving or in life, you, you got to have common sense. If you don't got common sense, you ain't going to figure things out. You know, some things I don't know and I ask questions. I'm not saying I know everything, but part of, a part of my battle in life is I am blessed that the Most High gave me more than a little bit of common sense. So, and it's not to brag, it's just saying that, you know, Sometimes when you out here, if you want to, if you want to be trucking, you most definitely gotta have patience, man. People drive crazy, and uh, you know I already covered that. People be driving reckless, man. And uh, like I 
Like right now, I'm doing 53 miles an hour. The speed limit is 65, but I'm in the slow lane, and people just gotta deal with that. You know, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm arrive a little early, but you know, I, I always try to drive slow. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm just hoping that on this day, you know what I mean? You guys is all right, and um, you treat your people good, and um, I'm just uh, encouraging people to sh you know try and show love to the people that you're around always. You know, uh, I think I think most high for this new day, protecting me through the night. I don't I don't never take it for granted. When I wake up this early, the kids are sleeping, and I, I always make it a thing to, you know, kiss them before I leave and pray for them a little bit and say some words to them. I know that a lot of times they like leave me alone. They're probably just thinking that, but you know, I, I find that really important to do. Every day, you know, uh, it's kind of like the same thing. Like with, with just me being Hispanic, me being Puerto Rican, it's like um, I just find it respectful to like greet, greet your elders and, and, and at least say hi to people, you know. But you know, in the family, in your family, you know, you usually greet each other with a kiss, goodbye, hello, and, and especially with my woman, I always practice that because it's like. Definitely uh, always try to make it a thing to greet people when you come in the room. You know, a lot of kids don't know how to do that. You know, these millennials, I mean, they don't do that. But it, it is very important to greet people when you come in. Respect everybody. It doesn't matter who it is. You know, you respect the elders in your family and people when you see them. You know, but uh, yeah, you guys, I'll just, you know, just a quick little word. It ain't nothing real deep, man. I just, uh, just wanted to say, uh, I hope that you guys have a good day. And, you know, be encouraged and have have faith that the Most High always has our best interests at hand. We, you know, He ain't no, you know, He loves us. He knows our hearts and our, you know, He knows our minds. So I just want y'all to be encouraged. Try not to uh, let things uh, get to you, especially in the if you, if you. I just want to tell people that if you're trying to get on this road can't be playing around and you really gotta be on point like every day so every time we come out here so with that being said you know Jay Nat the Jason of all trades like I said I'm willing and dealing I'm riding and striving and I'm making this thing happen out here man it's truck life I take it easy be safe out there Shalom